So with the, the site mostly done from a visual uh, point of view, I wanted to go back and take a look at accessibility. Now, I'm not an accessibility expert. Um, I'm, I, I know it much less than I understand other things like performance or CSS or whatever. So um, I wanted to kind of show it because it's a journey I'm kind of going on to kind of improve my understanding in this area. And so I at least wanted to show you the changes that I made, um, or at least kind of how I checked some of the changes that I made uh, on the site. So on screen, I have, uh, I'm going to enable voiceover. Welcome to OS 10. Voiceover is on. System preferences, accessibility, window, help button. OK. It's definitely on because it's talking at me, which is kind of what you'd hope. currently on a button. To click this button, press Control, Option, Space. OK. I don't want to do anything. Don't. Don't talk. I'm talking. <laughs> I'm talking. You don't talk. Stop it. Okay. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dive into the page, um, and then this is before I made my changes. Okay. All right. Chrome. Chrome Dev Summit two zero one six window. Footer. Vis. Vis. Visited link. Chrome Dev Summit. Okay. It'll talk again. It has a thing about talking. You are currently on a link inside of a banner. To click this link, press Control, Option, Space. The help tag is go to home page. OK, go to home page. Seems like a good thing. OK, so um, to keep this video brief, I'm just going to kind of show uh, only a couple of changes that I've made. Um, but you can extrapolate that I've made changes to all the templates around the site off the back of this, uh, all being well. Let me see if I got this right. Navigation for items. Oh no, this is the old build. Oh dear. Let's have a look. Sys term term npm run build. Hmm. Chrome. Chrome Dev Summit two zero one. Banner three items. Visited link. Chrome Dev Summit list four items. Schedule. Okay. List. This, this is the Visited this is the old link. one. Right. Chrome mm. Dev Summit. Yep. I know you're going to talk. I'm going to go list across four, to the list. List four items. Now, it's not a list. This is the thing. It's actually a nav. Um, you are currently on a list inside of a banner. See, I'm not. I'm not. I'm in a navigation. Yeah, admittedly, inside of a banner. I'll take that. So that that's one thing that um, isn't right. And actually, when we look at the source code um, in a moment, uh, in fact, let me just uh, switch off. Uh, uh, no, I'll show you the other bit as well. So. We can use uh, it's like control at left right arrows to kind of skip through elements. Um, visited. End of list. End of list. Okay. Visited link. Watch the live stream now. Seems good. End of back. Heading level one. Chrome Dev Summit. Also seems good. Complimentary one item. Not complimentary. Connect with Chrome engineers and other leading developers for a two-day exploration of building beautiful and performant experiences. Sounds good. End of complimentary. Not a complimentary. Visited link. Schedule take a look over the agenda. Feels like you should be giving me a little bit of a gap there, like a full stop. Visited link. Code Labs check out our step by step coding guides. Um. Visited link. Location Chrome Dev Summit is at SFJAZZ. SFJAZZ. Not really. It's at SF Jazz, and I understand why, screen reader. You are currently on a link inside of HTML content. To click this link, press Control, Option, Space. I can understand why a screen reader um, wouldn't understand. Uh, that it's SF Jazz, that it would think it's F -F -S -F -J -A -Z -Z, or ZZ for me, because English. Um, so um, what I will do is I will temporarily switch off voiceover. Let's do that system, first. System stop it, stop it, quick. Ooh, oh, no, 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 stop it. OK. Ooh. Ooh. So there's there's a small chance it can be a little bit stressful when it's when it's talking at you, um, especially when you're trying to record a video explaining. Yeah, right. Let me move the build on. Um, I think the build I want is that one. Yeah, adds labels and whatnot. And we'll do a fresh build. So now you can see when I do that, and let's see if the code is there as well. Let's go and find. Where would be a good place? Uh, I think the masthead is certainly one place. Um, you can see that the masthead graphic, which is that SVG uh, debacle, let's call it what it is, 
uh, the debacle that was, um, has an ARIA label of now masthead. And then I've added this masthead image title. So that's going to be something that should hopefully be announced as well. Things like titles, that's gone on as well. Um, in the head, maybe? Or in the header? Did I put it in the header? It's in the header. In the header, uh, or is it head? Which one is it? Whoa. Hang on. That's weird. Why are they saying the same thing? That's not, that's not the right thing. Or has it got itself confused? It might have got itself confused. Hmm. OK, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just look at it in the source code of the page. That'll do it. Instead, we now have a nav called menu nav. And instead of there being a list, they're just divs. And because this is set to display flex, this is fine. They're individual items, uh, each with an anchor. I probably don't even need the divs, actually. I might just remove those and put the, the, the class straight onto the anchor. That would probably be even tidier, less markup. I might just do that today, in fact. What an idea. Um, and then here's another little little thing that I, I did, which I just want to show. Here, this is after a chat with, let me zoom in, after a chat with Jake uh, Archibald, my colleague. Hopefully many of you know Jake. Um, if you don't, he's one of my colleagues. I said that. Um, so now Chrome Dev Summit is at SF and then Jazz in lowercase. And then this, in between it, you might be thinking, what on earth is that? The answer is, it's the Unicode character for a non-visible space, so that it renders as SF Jazz together, but it's actually pronounced as SF Jazz. So we're kind of doing the visual thing as well as the screen reader thing, and then I use a CSS text transform to bring that all to uppercase, which is why it's wrapped in a span, you see. Hmm. That will do the trick. Now, with that said, I can now um, switch on uh, voiceover once more. It's going to talk at us again. Welcome to OS 10. Voiceover is on. System preferences, accessibility, window, help button. OK. And we'll start hopefully at the top again. Schedule, select, okay. visited, link, Chrome Dev Summit, banner three, navigation four items. Navigation four items, better. Visited, link, visited, link. Location. Fine. End of navigation. Visited link. Watch the live stream now. End of banner. Heading level one. And? Masthead. Darren Fisher delivering the keynote at Chrome Dev Summit 2015. Image. I'd have said 2015, but whatever. Connect with Chrome engineers and other leading developers for a two day exploration. Yep. Visited link. Schedule. Take a look over the agenda. That's because I used an after there to put a full stop in. Visited link. Code Labs, check out our step-by-step -step coding guides. And that after has an opacity of zero and... Visited, link, location, Chrome Dev Summit is at SF Jazz. Yes! Visual stu okay. system preferences. Right. So basically, that's the, what I've been doing, is I've been going through, making sure that there's tab focus. And when you tab between things, or you use the the, the focus shifting in uh, VoiceOver, I'm not even sure what that's properly called, that it announces the things that I expect it to announce in the way that I would expect them to be announced. So most of the time, it's a case of putting sort of titles on things, or alts on images, or things like the masthead, where there isn't a, um, like I'm using multiple elements to kind of achieve the effect or whatever. I'm having to use aria role, or just role equals image, for example, and then uh, aria label equals, and then what I would put in an alt text should it have been an image. The other thing, uh, let me just see if I can switch it on quickly. If not, um, I will show you how one does it. Yeah, so it's not switched on on here. So let's go to uh, Chrome Flags <clears throat> and Developer Tools Experiments. We'll enable that. Relaunch. And now, inside of the DevTools settings, we have the experiments, and there's an accessibility inspection. And it is always worth pointing out um, that <clears throat> these experiments could be dangerous. And mm, But let's make that bigger. <clears throat> they could. They uh, could be dangerous and may require restarts. And they could cause other issues. So switch them on at your own peril. Um, but anyway, it'll switch on the accessibility accessibility uh, 
inspection. And then let's take our uh, inspect here, we'll do that. And there's now an accessibility tab down here. And you can see the name, which is location. Chrome Dev Summit is at SF Jazz contents and what its role is. So you can very quickly, if you just want to check without actually switching on uh, a screen reader or anything like that, you can uh, have a do with that and switch that on and play around with that. And hopefully it will tell you all the right kinds of things or your labels. And let me just try that on the masthead. Let's see. I think it's on masthead itself, maybe? Or maybe the masthead graphic. Masthead graphic. There we are. Role of image and ARIA label of what we'd expect. And as you can see, it bears out that when I actually use at least voiceover anyway, um, that I'm getting the right kinds of things. I know it's still more work to do in this area because um, the side nav, I'll need to uh, put on an inert. Uh, and if you've not heard of inert, um, we will link to Rob Dodson's uh, inert polyfill Alleycasts, which you should definitely watch. It's a very straightforward way of saying uh, this thing is not um, uh, visible right now, and I'll probably need that if I'm going to do a sliding in and out side nav. I, in fact, he actually talks about uh, a previous side nav I built in that episode. And also, I need to find a way of uh, making sure that the tab focus is uh, sort of locked into the side nav when it's out because it's kind of like a modal. Anyway, all that and more you'll discover if you watch Alleycasts. So, as always, uh, check out the code on GitHub. Uh, you can say hello to me uh, in the comments. I've been responding to a lot. If I've missed your comment, I'm very sorry. Um, keep trying. Uh, you can say hello to me on Twitter, at AeroTwist. And I will, of course, uh, see you in the next entry. Yes, that's when I'll be back. Brilliant. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.